What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a LinkedIn outreach workflow using Anytime. So let's get started. To automate LinkedIn outreach, we'll first of all need to scrape leads from LinkedIn. Now to scrape leads from LinkedIn, I'm going to use this tool called Appify. Appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate projects. Go ahead and create an account on Appify. And after creating an account on Appify, head over to Appify store. Here yeah, we're going to search for the website that we like to scrape. In our case, we like to scrape LinkedIn. So I'll search for LinkedIn over here. And we can take it a step further. Since we like to automate LinkedIn outreach, we can search for leads with, the, with their email addresses already available. I'll search for LinkedIn email scraper. You can see we found 68 tools that we can use to scrape various websites like uh, LinkedIn, Google Maps, School, Apollo, Trustpilot. In our case, we like to scrape LinkedIn. So here, we're going to use it, all these tools right here. I'm going to use this tool over here, built by Easy API. And here, we'll add the search keyword for the leads that we like to scrape. And then here, we'll add the maximum number of the leads that we like to scrape. In our case, we like to scrape accountants. And the, and the number of accountants that we like to scrape is three. Now to scrape three accountants from LinkedIn with their email addresses already available, I'm going to click on Start. Here, you can see that our tool is running and it's getting our data. Let's give it a second. You can see it's succeeded in scraping three accountants for us from LinkedIn. Here, you can see the email addresses, the keyword was accountants, here's the description, the title, and their LinkedIn URL over here. Now we can get these leads that we just scraped over here to our workflow in any channel. So, in any channel, I've created a workflow that I've renamed to LinkedIn Outreach Workflow. Get these leads to our workflow here. I'll search for HTTP, HTTP request node and click on the node right here. And then from our tool, I'll click on API. Then I'll scroll down below, it says get data set items. And then I'll copy it. And then here, I'll paste the link that we just copied and click on test step. You can see now we're getting the three leads that we just scraped using our tool over here. So here we're getting the keywords, the email, title, LinkedIn URL, and the description over here, which is really nice. Now, instead of manually having to scrape our leads from Appify, we can scrape the leads from our workflow right here. So to do that, I'll open this node. And here we're going to clear this URL over here. Now to scrape the leads automatically from our workflow, I'll head over to Appify documentation. And here I'll search for the AP, API that we like to call. Yeah, I'm going to click on, it says run after synchronously with input and get data set items. Over here, we're going to copy the C URL over here. And then I'll go back to our workflow and then here i'm going to click on import url and then i'll paste our url that we just copied over here then i'll click on import now here we're going to add our actor id our api token and our json down below right here let's start with the actor id so for the actor id we're going to get the id of our actor by going back to our tool then clicking on our tool right here then from the search url let's copy the unique id right here it's after the actor and then come and paste the actor ID right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our API token right here. So I'll click on expression, expand this right here, so we can add our API token over here. To get our API token, head over to our tool, click on settings, then click on API and integration. Here, just click on click on create a new token. We can call it let's say test, then click on create. After we've created our token, copy it, then go back to our workflow and paste our API token right here. Remember to leave a space right here and don't include a space at the end. Then click on back to converse. Then the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to add our JSON. So here I'm going to specif uh, specify the body using JSON and then we're going to add our JSON right here. To get our JSON, I'll go back to our tool right here and then where it says manual and JSON, click on JSON. Then here, copy the JSON, then come and paste it right here. To scrape our leads from our workflow here, I'm going to click on test step. Now when you click on runs on our tool, you can see can see our tool is running from Appify over here that we triggered from our workflow. Here you can see we succeeded in scraping three accountants from LinkedIn using our tool Appify. Over here, so here I'll rename this to LinkedIn Lead Scraper. And then I'm going to click on rename. Now the next thing we're going to do here is since we're getting the email addresses and their name, we can write a personalized first line for these leads, introducing ourselves and personalizing our emails 
for a higher chance of our leads replying to us. To do that, we're going to use AI to generate a personalized first line for leads. So here, I'll search for OpenAI and click on OpenAI node. And here, I'm going to click on Messenger Model node. Yeah, you'll need to create a new credential by clicking on create a new credential right here. Then from your OpenAI API, add your API key right here and click on save to create a new credential. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to choose my credential right here. And then here, we're going to message a model. Here, we're going to choose the model that we like to use. I'm going to choose GPT open to a mini. And then add the prompt for the system role. The prompt could be on the lines of you are an intelligent writing assistant. And then there's going to be a prompt for the system role. And then to add the prompt for the user role, I'm going to click on add message. And then here, I'm going to click on expression. From this, so we can add the prompt for the user role. The prompt for the user role could be on the lines of generate a personalized, intriguing, and captivating first line for a cold email based on the lead, the LinkedIn description data, and LinkedIn link straight from LinkedIn. And then here we're adding the description, which is the description over here, and the LinkedIn URL, which is this URL over here. This line should be engaging, relevant, and complementary, designed to hook the lead into reading further without being pushy or salesy. And then we're outlining a couple of rules for the AI. We're telling it output only the first line with no explanation or additional text. Do not include suggestions or placeholders like mention a specific property type or service in the output. The output should be a fully written, personalized first line based on the LinkedIn content. Do not include quotation marks around the first line. And here I'm going to click on back to canvas. We're going to turn the simplify output to one. And we like to output the content as a JSON. Here, now to generate first lines for what three leads that we scraped over here from Appify. I'm going to click on test step right here. You can see it's executing our node. Let's give it a second. You can see here, it's generated for us personalized first line for leads from our leads LinkedIn URL and description over here. First, the personalized first line for first lead is on the lines of your expertise as a staff accountant in action, expertly navigating the complexities of accounting and tax service truly sets a standard in the field. That is amazing. The other first line is on the lines of Paul, your 16 year of dedication at Mueller by an associate clearly demonstrate a deeper commitment to providing trusted CPA services to the Loveland community. That's very personalized. You can see it's outlining the company that the lead is in and their community right here. Now, the last personalized first line that our AI generator for us is on the lines of Pedro. Your extensive experience as a senior accountant combined with your CPA credential truly sets a high standard in the Washington DC Baltimore accounting community. It's a very personalized first line for this lead, which is really awesome. I'm going to click on back to Canvas and here we can rename this to Can rename these two first lines generator and then i'm going to click on rename now here since we have our first lines and the email of our leads we can go ahead and add them to a spreadsheet in google sheet i've created a spreadsheet that i've renamed to linkedin script leads and this is the spreadsheet that we're going to add our leads here we're going to add the keyword title the email description and the linkedin url of our lead to add our leads to the spreadsheet in our workflow i'm going to search for google sheet then click on google sheets and here i'm going to click on up and draw in shape here, you'll also need to create a new credential by clicking on sign in with your Google account. Then on the new window that pops up, choose the account that you'd like to connect to anytime. And then your credential will be created. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close this. Choose my credential right here. Come and choose our document right here. Our document is LinkedIn script leads. Our sheet will be is our LinkedIn script leads. Then here, we're going to add values to our columns in our spreadsheet with the data that we scraped from Appify and the generator using AI in our spreadsheet. We can replace the description column in our spreadsheet to personalize first line. Then go back to our workflow. You can refresh it right here. And then now we can add values to our columns in our spreadsheet. So for the keyword, we're going to drag the keyword right here. For the title, we're going to drag the title of our lead right here. The email, we're going to drag the email address right here. For the personalized first line, we're going to drag our first line right here that we generated using here. And lastly, we're going to add the LinkedIn URL, which will be this LinkedIn URL over here. Which is also not to add our list to our spreadsheet. I'm going to click on test tab. You can see we added our three leads to our spreadsheet. So we added their keyword, title, the email, personalized first line, and their LinkedIn URL to our spreadsheet. Now, now open our spreadsheet. You can see the leads that we added to our spreadsheet right here. We added the keyword, title, the leads email, personalized first, personalized first line that we generated for each of all leads, and their LinkedIn URL right here, which is awesome. Using our workflow right here. So on the spreadsheet, I'll rename this to LinkedIn leads. Data. And then click on rename. 
Now we can proceed and add our leads to an outreach tool. So we can send these leads an outreach campaign. To send our leads an outreach campaign, I'm going to use an outreach tool called Lemlist. So here, I'll search for Lemlist and click on Lemlist right here. And then on Lemlist, I'm going to click on Create a Lead Node. Lemlist, you'll also need to create a new credential right here by clicking on Create a New Credential. Then from your Lemlist account, add your API key right here. On Lemlist, to get your API key, click on Integrations, then here, click on Generate to generate your API key. Give it a name and click on Create a Key. Then copy it. Then come and paste your API key right here and click on save to create a new credential. After creating a new credential, here you'll add your campaign name and the list data that would like to add to our campaign. Now on Lemlist, I have created a campaign that I have named to Lenny's campaign. This is a camp outreach campaign that would like to send our leads over here. So we're sending them two emails. The first email will go out immediately. The second email will be sent one day later. If the Wooland have responded to our first email, this is a outreach email that we're sending to our lead. So here we are sending them a newsletter that we've generated using AI to try and provide value up front. So the first email that we are sending over is on the lines of hi, first name. And then here we'll include personalized first name that we'll have generated using AI. I'm a big believer in giving value before asking for anything. So I put together something that you might find genuinely helpful. Here's a quick fun newsletter that breaks down how AI is quality shaping the way businesses operate. Not in a techy, overwhelming way, but in a way that actually makes life easier. And here we are adding our newsletter that we generated using AI. Whether you're curious, skeptical, or somewhere in between, I think this will give you a few oh wow moments. Give it a read and if it sparks an idea, I'd love to hear what stood out most. Let's make busy optional. Cheers, Dennis. So that's the first email that we're sending them. And then one day later, we're going to send them this follow-up email. Hi, name. Just checking in. Did you get a chance to skim through the AI newsletter sent over? I'd love to hear what jumped out at you, whether it sparked a new idea, confirmed something you've been thinking, or just made you go, huh, interesting. I'm always looking to share things that are actually useful, not just noise. So if there's something you'd want to dive deeper into next time, just hit reply and let me know. In the meantime, here's a little reminder in case you missed the link. And then here we are in the link to our newsletter. You can choose to shorten this link. It's very long. Talk soon, Dennis. So these are two emails that we're going to send to our leads over here. Now the next step here, we're going to add our leads to the lead list over here using our workflow. Now to our leads to our campaign in Lamlist, here we're going to choose our campaign right here. Then here we're going to add let the leads data that we like to our to outreach campaign. So here we're going to drag the email address over here. Here we can add additional fields. For example, we can add the icebreaker field. We can also add the LinkedIn URL field. Right here. Now we can choose to add additional fields. So if we have their first name, last name, website, phone number, we'll add those fields right here. And then come and map the fields with their data right here, like we did over here. So inside, we're going to add only these two fields. The icebreaker field, we're going to drag our personalized first line over here and add the LinkedIn URL over here. Now to add our list to our campaign, I'm going to click on test step. Here you can see we added our three leads to our campaign. We added the first line, LinkedIn URL, and the email address over here using our workflow. So here, I renamed these now to add leads to Lemlist. And then here I'm going to click on rename and then save our workflow. When we open our campaign on the lead list, you can see we added our leads right here. We added their names, email address, and the personalized first line we generated using AI. You can remove these columns since they are empty. So by clicking, I'm going to click on settings. Here we can remove the company name and the company domain. And then click on save. Now we can stretch over here our leads over here we can proceed to launch our campaign so i'll click on launch over here and here you can see on each and every single lead we added the personalized first line we generated using ai so here you can see the personalized first line for this lead over here this is the personalized first line for this lead it's incredible and the last personalized first line for the pedro that is awesome and then you can see here we added the link of the newsletter that we generated over here to provide value up front to these leads and then one day later if they will have replied to our first email we're going to send them this follow-up email right here and also attached is a link to the newsletter so we generate using AI. now to launch this campaign all you have to do is just click on launch for the three, for the three leads and then here you can see the campaign recap so in between sending an email to each lead is 20 minutes you can choose to edit it right here and increase it or reduce it you can also place you can also edit the sending schedule over here but i'm going to leave it as is and then if you're happy with your campaign just click on launch campaign for the three leads and your outreach emails will begin to be sent to your leads over here using our simple workflow that we created in any channel right here. Now to test our workflow again, see how it works. Here we can choose to scrape different leads. So I'll open this node right here. 
And now instead of scraping accountants, you can scrape lawyers now. So search for lawyers. You can choose to scrape only three lawyers. And I'll go back to Canvas. Now to scrape three lawyers, generate personalized first line for these lawyers, add them to a spreadsheet, and then add them to our outreach campaign on Lamlist. I'm going to click on test workflow. You can see our workflow ran successfully. So here I'll open this node. Here we scrape three lawyers using our tool in AppFi. We got, you can see the keyword is lawyers. Here's the email addresses, the title, LinkedIn URL in the description over here. Oh. Then we generated three personalized first lines for lawyers. So you can see example first lines that we generated for lawyers. This first line is on the lines of your expertise in navigating complex investments and stockbroker fraud. Fraud cases across Israel and America is truly impressive and inspiring. It's a very personalized first line, especially because it's naming the location that this lawyer has worked. The other one is on the lens of David. Your dedication to providing consistent, personalized support in family law truly sets, sets you apart in the field where trust is paramount. That's another personalized first line. Incredible. Then we added the list to a spreadsheet and to our outreach campaign. Now, when we open our spreadsheet, you can see we added our lawyers right here. Here are the keyword is lawyers. Here are the three lawyers of the script using our workflow. Here are the email addresses. Here are the personalized first lines that we generated for our lawyers using our workflow and then we also added the LinkedIn URLs over here. Now when I open our campaign, here you can see we added three extra leads. We are the personalized first line that we generated for the lawyers for the leads. Now to launch the leads, let's click on launch over here. And then now to launch our campaign for, for each of our leads right here, all you have to do is just click on launch for the six leads and then verify if the campaign details are okay. To edit, just click on edit settings right here to edit the campaign settings. But if everything looks perfect, let's click on launch for the six leads over here and the leads will be sent this personalized outreach emails that we generated using our workflow now if you have an a workflow or an ai agent that you'd like for me to create using any 10 just comment down below in the comment section and if i land on your comment and i find it intriguing i'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or ai agent from scratch using any 10 but for now thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye